Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sassy, and today I'll be showing you how to get all the keys, Mario items, and shield parts, as well as all the Gobblegum locations in the Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map, Return to Das Heron House. I've already released a full easter egg guide for this map, as well as a guide on how to pack a punch, so go check those out if you're interested. So without further ado, let's get into it. To get the green key, you will need to find all the shootable perk bottles. There are 7 shootable perk bottles around the map, and they can be shot in any order. The first perk bottle is in the spawn room by the eagle. Next is in the basement. If you go past Deadshot and look to your right, the bottle will be on the left side of the poster. Next can be found in the dining room. If you look up top on the right side of the arch above where the teleporter is, it'll be right there. Bottle 4 can be found in the cloister where the fountain is on the right side of the ledge of the middle window. The next bottle can be found in the library on the middle chandelier. Bottle 6 is in the ice rink on top of the lamppost, close to where the shield building table is. And the last bottle can be found right outside the greenhouse building. If you look up at the entrance of the building, it'll be up there and to the left. You can then go inside the greenhouse building and pick up the green glowing key. This is the key to the building outside in the garden area. Use the key on the door and open it to reveal a crate with a glowing turquoise bottle. Pick this bottle up and your perk limit will now increase to 6 perks. To get the blue key, you will need to first obtain the Thunder Gun. Once you have the Thunder Gun, take the teleporter with the bird on the monitor. You will be teleported to a room with a hole in the wall and light coming through it. If you look into the light, you will be taken to Samantha's room. Once there, shoot the four candles on the wall with the Thunder Gun to blow them out. Once done, you'll hear this sound, and you can pick up the blue key from the box in front of you. You can now use this key to open up one of the doors in the basement and collect 25,000 points. To get the pink key, you will need to find and shoot six pink keys hidden around the map. The pink keys need to be shot in this order and won't spawn in the next location until the previous one is shot. The first pink key is located in the spawn room. Next, if you buy the door to the left of Quick Revive, the key will be on the shelf as soon as you enter the room. The next key is on top of the elevator, so if you continue through the room you just bought and go past Double Tap, at the end of the hall, there will be an elevator on your left and the key can be found at the top of the door. Key 4 can be found on the windowsill outside the library. To get there, just go to the second floor of the library and open up the balcony area. Once on the balcony, turn to the left, and the key will be on one of the window ledges. Next one, it'll be on top of the fountain in the cloister, so just jump down from the library balcony and it'll be right in front of you. And the last key is up in the banisters in the dining room. So if you face the wall opposite the teleporter and look up, you should be able to see the key. You can now pick up the pink key from the ice rink, and this key allows you to open up another door in the basement. This key is actually needed to complete the easter egg. And also for the Mario, to complete the Mario parts. And lastly, the yellow key will allow you to unlock the blender gat. The first thing you'll need to do is obtain the ray gun. Next, you'll need to shoot six paintings with that gun. One is at spawn next to where you found the pink key. Next is in the hallway across from the bar wall gun by. There's one through one of the windows behind the teleporter. One is in Samantha's room on the wall to the right. And there are two paintings in the library. One is through the window next to the jug room on the bottom floor. And the final one is on the top floor to the right as soon as you get up the stairs. And you can now pick up the key from the box underneath the final painting. This key allows you to open up the locked box in the jug room that contains the blunder gun. There are four parts for the Mario star power. The Mario cap, which is found upstairs at spawn under this chair. The star is found on the left side of the shed by the ice rink. The glove is found on the first floor of the library on a chair. And the shoe is by the lion's head near the cloister. Once you have all four parts, head to the spider room and interact with the broken tomb to the left of the entrance. You will then need to build the star. Once done, the star will spawn in the middle of the room. Taking the star will give you speed and invincibility for about 30 seconds. Next is the shield parts. There are three parts for the shield, the handles, the shield frame, and the face piece. The handle can be found in the basement on the opposite side of the wall from Mule Kit, outside near the ice rink by these barrels, or in the garden house leaning against this open trunk. The shield frame is found either in the cloister leaning on the wall, on the floor on the left side behind the teleporter, or in the dining hall area near the fire. 
and the face piece is found either in the library on the second floor, right as you go up the stairs, to the right of Widow's Wine, or on this cart near Double Tap by the elevator. And finally for the Gobble Gum locations. In order to use Gobble Gums on this map, you will need to find the crate containing the Gobble Gums. There are four possible locations for the crate, in the dining room on this cart, in the room with Widow's Wine near the trap switch, on the right side of the shed outside by the ice rink, or near the outside exit of the greenhouse. And that's it. I'll be doing more Easter egg videos in the future, so subscribe if you're interested, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.